What causes fatigue in perimenopause? Let's discuss what's happening in your body during perimenopause that's causing you to be so tired and what you can do about it. Perimenopause is a time of great hormonal flux in a woman's life, kind of like puberty with wrinkles. Fatigue is a huge issue for women going through this tremendous hormonal change. Some days it's bone aching, feels like you got hit by a truck fatigue, but most of the time it's more like you just pooped. You need caffeine to get going in the morning, after lunch you feel like you're falling asleep so you need more caffeine, and once you sit down after dinner you fall asleep on the couch. That's because your declining sex hormones affect your cellular energy production. Your energy is produced by thousands of tiny powerhouses in each of your cells called mitochondria. And mitochondria need two main ingredients to produce energy, glucose and oxygen. Now you may be getting enough oxygen if you're breathing, but your cells are not getting enough glucose. Glucose is the only form of sugar your body uses for energy, and estrogen influences how much glucose gets into your cells. How? By upregulating your insulin receptors. When your estrogen levels fall during perimenopause, your cells become more insulin resistant, making it harder for glucose to get in. So your cells produce less and less energy and you feel fatigued. The other issue is your falling progesterone levels. Progesterone fuels your adrenals production of cortisol. And cortisol is what stimulates your body to release stored glucose for energy. So less progesterone means less cortisol, and less cortisol means less glucose for energy production. So you're tired and craving sugar to keep going. It's a vicious battle that leads to menopausal waking. Sign up for your free hormone reboot training and learn how to keep your hormones in balance naturally and your energy up during perimenopause. So what can you do to increase your energy? Support your hypothalamus to help ease the burden on your stressed out adrenals and get your hormones in a little better balance. Your adrenals produce DHEA, which can be converted into estrogen to make the transition through perimenopause a little smoother. If the communication between your hypothalamus and your adrenals is healthy, then you produce normal levels of cortisol and DHEA. The best way to nutritionally support your hypothalamus is with Genesis Gold. It takes at least 90 days to heal your hypothalamus, so give your stressed out, hormonally challenged self a chance to heal. Genesis Gold is designed to reverse insulin resistance and improve mitochondrial energy production too. With the right support, you can keep your energy up during perimenopause and transition gracefully through menopause. I'll see you in the next video.